All right, good morning, Cyber Traders. Welcome back. Hope everybody's excited on this lovely Tuesday. How's everybody doing? Good to see you all. Good to see you all. All right, Ben, good to see you. Bernie, good to see you. Don, Chuck. All right, David, everyone, welcome back. It is Tuesday, and I told you today is going to be a really good day because of, uh, you know, last week, due to the Thanksgiving weekend, we had phase three class going on. I said, you know what, guys, I really don't think Friday would be a good day to do it. I didn't uh, think it was really worth it, even though we did have a stock that went up 300%. But once again, personally, you still wouldn't have learned anything on that one stock. And, you know, I said, let's push it off until Tuesday for this week. So I'm really excited for phase, uh, phase three today because one of the big things you guys are obviously seeing, the market is down about 300 points. It was down about 300 points yesterday. And, uh, you know, hey, you know what? Everybody remember what happened last year? right around this time what happened last year right around this time best thing ever happened for a trader the christmas crash that's right it tanked right chuck everyone so um obviously you probably know what the news is that uh, president trump said that you know what maybe he's not to cut a deal with china as much as you know the, the uh, stock market wants he says you know what maybe wait till election the stock market's doing, you know, we're doing great here in America. Maybe we're not in no pressure. You, you know, it's on my terms and no terms. And, you know, market doesn't like that. So we're getting a little correction. So, hey, you know what? You know, there's, where there's catastrophes, there's going to be opportunities, okay? So, uh, you know what? That's that's probably the big news. You know, probably not as bad as last year when we shut down the government. The market got destroyed. But uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, it looks like it, looks like it could be a little fun. But anyway, that's not really, you know, what I want to focus on. Uh, first of all, I want to focus on, well, 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 one thing, it's definitely making a lot of ETFs move. And we're going to put a lot of ETFs in our watch list because there are a couple of them that are moving pretty nicely today. And you know that I'm not really, we're really fans of ETFs, right? We only, the only, because it, it's not that you can't make money with them. It's that they don't trade every day. But in days like today, you're getting like a TVIX of 15%. Uh, UVXY, 12. I mean, you're getting good, good movement in ETFs. So this could be a good opportunity. Now, um, a couple of stocks we're going to talk about uh, regarding that had some big moves. Uh, first of all, let's start off with what happened yesterday before we start talking about some of the big, big moves of some of the big stocks that are moving today in the watch list. Um, you know, obviously, there's a couple of big buyouts. Bold got bought out. Look at that. Up. Uh, congratulations to Bold, up about 100%. Anyway, guys, don't worry about these buyouts and stuff like that. I mean, this stuff happens, you know what I mean? But uh, one of the big stocks, uh, like yesterday, what was the other stock that we were talking about? AKS, right? That was on our watch list, AKS, and sure enough, there was a little bit of a buyout on there. Remember what I always tell you, where there's smoke, there's fire. And um, you know what? There's, every day's a new day, so whatever happened yesterday, we'll, we'll, we'll pick up today. But anyway, let's talk about what did move yesterday before we do go through the watch list. Let's start off talking about with this stock, uh, PINC. Uh, this stock just literally from nowhere, let me fix my time frame here, uh, just literally came from, just popped, went from like 35 all the way to 38.50. Nice little move. Um, you know, listen, you can't go broke taking a profit if you did chase it. I think some of you guys got in around 37, you sold at 38. And you know, after that, that's pretty much where it covered. But uh, that was a pretty nice move. S R N E, another nice move from yesterday. Oops, can't really see too much of that one. So this stock's been really, really nice the last couple of days. You could see the stock literally. Um, just fixing the time frame here. This thing went from a buck sixty all the way to about three sixty. Really, really nice mover. Very inexpensive. Nice slow. Uh, if you're a advanced trade, you could trade several thousand shares of it. That one did pretty well. Piton. Okay, look at this one. Where'd this thing come from, huh? So anyway, who would ever think that this stock would actually make a move like this? But this has not only been a good day trade, it's actually been a very good swing trade. So uh, Piton, you know, it's the bicycles that you go really fast on and, you know, they went public. We never think of it, but $22 stock to 38, 38, uh, 36, just been moving really, really nice and consistent. Only issue is the stock is not a beginner stock. You could tell by the tier sizes on the level three and you got to be a little bit more of an advanced trader. KOD. Okay. So this is the home run. Okay. This stock was just like, what in the hell? Where did this thing come from? You see, you know, some people log in early. Some people log in late. Some people don't take this seriously. Let me ask you a dumb question. When was the last time 
that you see in a stock go from 35 to 75, oh, I don't know, in 30 minutes, okay? Well, guess what? You know where you see it? Right here at CyberTrade University. So the thing is this, some of you guys killed it on this trade, and a lot of you basically made all your money, and, you know, listen, did, did we buy it at 30 and sell it at 70? No. But you know what? If you got it at 45 and you sold it at 50, or you bought it at 55 and you sold it at 60, where are you making five points? People can't even make five cents, okay, in a stock. But anyway, that was our big, big home run yesterday. And uh, there was a couple other ones. PCG, which is a nice, slow, steady stock. That one, obviously, we, we talked a lot about that one. And then the short on Roku was just so much fun, too. That thing was probably the nice, slowest, steady stock right there. It just kept going down for about an hour from 148 to about 134. Now, granted, some of these stocks were a little expensive, not qualify for all everybody, but we did have some cheapies, which all that matters. Now, that is the past. Now, let's talk about the future. And the future is, what are we doing today? Well, today, we're going to remember, we're gonna, we got some stocks to trade going into phase three. So we're going to be trading live you know, um, in class today for all the gold and platinum students uh, and diamond. But uh, for some of you that are going to stick around the trading room, here's going to be the stocks we're going to be trading on the watch list. Obviously, bold is pretty much a scratch. That stock had a really, really nice move. Uh, DRIO. All right, so here's one stock that is making also a very, very nice move right here in pre-market. Let me fix my time frame here. Uh, this stock, you can see, went from $5 to 11 It's up about 93%. Uh, spread's a little bit big. It's got some decent orders. This is no, by far, a level one stock. The stock is a little bit more on a two category and a three. But she's got some really good support levels here at 9 bucks. Um, I see some really nice uh, iceberg orders out there in level four on this one. V-Ray. Another one that's making a big, uh, nice little move today. Nice little cheap little stock. Look at the orders. 700,000 shares already traded, so 35%. Look at all these orders out there. Uh, you got some nice ice order, nice orders out there at each price level. It's got good volume, good spread. The only thing I don't, I don't like about it right now, it's kind of flat in pre-market. It really didn't move that much from 440 to 460. So that's the only thing that really kind of turns me off a little bit about it. But we'll see how it, she opens up uh, when the market uh, uh, when the market opens up. What else we got? Uh, ASLN. All right, so another little cheapy stock right there. Well, this is a stock we've been trading the last several days. Uh, stock went from a dollar to eight dollars once again. Where do you find this stuff? Right here, right at Cyber Trade University. That's right, Grant. Uh, but anyway, why she's down forty nine percent? We know why she's down 49%, right? Why is it down? Well, how does the stock go from a dollar to eight back down to two? What do we learn already so far, guys, in this trading room? What do we learn in class? Well, we know they short, they sold it. It's a short squeeze. It's a short squeeze. That's the way it goes, right? And right, Donna, we don't even care. All we know about is when we when we bought it at two and went to three, and went from three, went to four, and we bought it at five and went to seven. That's all we care about. Where is it today? It's it's irrelevant because we don't own it. That's the difference between day traders and swing traders and uneducated traders. All right. So anyway, we're not watching that stock, so that's just a scratch. Okay. Uh, ben said he just made about a buck ten on the short and ALD. Man, as I'm doing meetings, look at Ben's already starting to bang out things. Stocks. Look at that. Great short though. I can tell you that. I totally agree with you on that one. Uh, that was another another look like another short squeeze right there on the uh, AL. The ALDX. Nice, nice trade right there. It's always nice to be up before even the market opens up. All right, now, the other big news, obviously, like I said, market is down. We're about 300 points right now, just looking at the Dow futures. So what is good when, you, when you're when you trading Dow futures like this? Listen, short, and you can, you know what? You can go long on the triple shorts uh, uh, on the ETF. So, you know, I'm not a big fan of ETFs. The problem is they have very big iceberg orders out there at all. Uh, a lot of orders at different price levels, but you know what? I'll just go down go down the list. We got the, the TVIX. You can see a stock's been, been a, a $200 stock, and uh, she's doing pretty well. Look at that. She went from 73 up to 80 going up nice and steady. I mean, this stock is just extremely volatile. Expensive, though. Uh, UVXY is another one that's moving a little bit more, less expensive. You can see this stock has been on a big, big downtrend lately. Stock um, making up a really nice move, maybe a little bit something more 
uh, affordable for some of you that could trade it. VIXY, another one. A little spotty over here, though, but it's got some good movement there. You can see you got the nice uh, iceberg orders out there. And you know, and you could just go down the list. You can see them all here, all these ETFs, the UGIZ. I mean, they're all here. So you can't go wrong on any one of them. All right. So uh, Grant says the VXX. Yeah, I mean, listen, the list goes on and on and on when it comes to this stuff. All right. All right. Jerry already made 10 cents on it. All right. Let's give him a round of applause. Nice job. Always nice to start small. Make it a profit. All right, guys. So listen, I got to get ready for class. There's your watch list. Um, so if you are a student of Cybertrain University, please log into the other room where you're going to be trading live with me. And remember, guys, it's not about making money. It's about controlling losses. That's the big thing. So remember, that's the key of going out there and being in class. It's not about seeing how great, you know, making money here and there. That, 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 that listen. That, that's great, you know, and it's nice, but that doesn't teach you anything. What teaches you, how do we learn, what, how to get in, how to get out. So I'm going to try to focus a lot on entries and exit points. Now, if you want to find out about getting to the classes, talk to Education Advisor. In the meantime, guys, uh, who's, who's not going to be joining me, just stay where you are. And, uh, you know, Josh is going to start doing some commentary once the market opens up. So you got about 10 minutes before the market opens up. Go out and run out really quick and run right back. And then uh, we'll get started for the open. All right, guys, good luck. Happy trading, everyone. I'll see you all in class.